Nichols and today I want to share with you my craft closet that it was just a pure tea mess. And I had it straightened. I actually show this picture, I believe, on Instagram and Facebook earlier this summer. But I never got around to recording it. So I want to share with you today because I'm getting ready to start some projects in here. And it might be disheveled or um, Christmas is coming and I'm going to have to use some of this stuff. And yeah, so let's get started. When I went about organizing my space, I thought about how I would use it and I also like for my items to be displayed but also organized where I am able to find it and get my hands on it. So maybe one day I will have some built-ins in my closet and but right now what I did was I used like shelving that I already had and I used um, shelves and racks and stuff that I already had. So this black rack, I guess starting here, was in my laundry room. If you've seen that very first video, it's time for a redo of that laundry room. And I had baskets on here where we sorted everything. And so I just brought it upstairs and I used it to put my flowers. And I had most of these flowers from arrangements. And I take them apart, I redo them, and then a lot of these flowers were from a grab bag, too. And I said I can use it for wreaths and um, centerpieces and arrangements and so forth. So, that's why I have so many. I actually wanted to sit them up, and it was a pretty display, but I was so afraid, because there's a lot of flowers in here. I was so afraid that Josiah would come in here and knock them all down. This container here does come with a lid. It was actually, I think, a five or six piece set that came from Roses. And ours went out of business. I'm so sad about that. And But they may still have them at some other stores. But this is the largest container that it comes in comes with. And I just put everything in there neatly. And tried to colorize them as well as I could. But neatly. But I'm getting ready to go through these and use them for a project. These containers here also did come with this container and what I did was I just simply housed like some of these glass jars that I used the Mod Podge and the glitter that I used throughout the year like maybe Valentine's or if someone calls me and needs something done at the last minute for a party or something or sometimes I use them for decor around the house then I will have them on hand. And just if you wanted to see what was in this one, I do plan on going back labeling everything. This is all these graduation items that I used for Cottrell. And I thought I would keep them for JJ because he's about to graduate the 8th grade this year. So I thought I would go ahead and keep them. And I need to do that DIY video. I have the footage somewhere. And I was going to wait to December to do it because kids are graduating now. So hopefully I get across, not across, I get to it. And then sometimes I make things, or well, a lot of times I make things and I keep them because I may need them for a party. And then sometimes people reach out and may need an event and they may be limited on money or funds or something like that. And I like to use what I already have or um, to help them out with that event or party. Then over here I have just two of these bins where the other one is here. I <laughs> have my Spongebob packing tape in it but I just have like some floral moss some styrofoam floral styrofoam and everything in here and a lot of these things I use them over and over and over again until I can't use them anymore I'll take something apart and put it back together 
I will hot glue it and if it's sal, what's the word, salgeable, I will use it um, again, again and again. These are some extra roses that I had left over for um, one of the weddings that I did, the rustic wedding. And I actually put this in here just because I didn't want it to be empty. But I'm about I'm using some of these already because I'm working on a project. So I'm gonna put those back there and then I'm going to put this here. So in my space I have like a lot of space to grow still, you'll see. Then down here, I just hate to get rid of the centerpieces that I made for my cousin's bridal shower. So I still have those and maybe one day, I, I did think about selling it, but it has to be somebody local so they won't break. And I never did that Facebook. I think someone told me about a Facebook group that may be looking for wedding stuff, but I didn't even think about that. Then here's some extra baskets here and I made this at another wedding. Some extra flowers. And I just have some extra jars back there that I think I was going to use for Cottrell's party, but it didn't work out. These are the flowers that my cousin had at her wedding, and she just gave them to me because she didn't have a place to store them. And she was trying to get, just get rid of them. So I have them over here in this bin because there it was a DIY project on top of a wine glass, which was really pretty. Let's see if I can pull one out. Yeah on top of a wine glass so they really don't stand up um, on a rack like this really well then on this shelf here it was so perfect so I have a lot of party stuff that some I have been starting to purge because I have not used them that were in my garage when me and my husband were recently my husband and I was recently cleaning it out but in here is like some birthday stuff. I wanted it all together. Is it just birthday stuff? Because this should have been somewhere else. But maybe I'll just stick it in here. But so I know and put my hands on like the candles and stuff. Because recently, I can't remember whose birthday it was. And I didn't know where my candles were. And it was just like everybody was ready to go when I needed to hurry up and light the cake. This being over here. This has a mason jar in it, but I think I had like some chalk paint in it. But I actually like to store my chalk paint in my other craft area that I have to film whenever Jason gets the chance to put my doors on, guys. I don't know when. And then there is just some more party stuff I got for Michaels. I think a chandelier and a paper flower that's in a box under there. Over here, I just have a wooden dowel, and I just wanted to keep this. It was something that I ordered, and I just wanted to keep this here. For a project because I can just see using that for something what well, I don't know yet but <laughs> sometimes I hold on to stuff like that and then there's a top over here in the corner if you can see to one of to that very top flower being at the top in my craft room I wanted to make a lot of stations for different things so it would be more accessible and easier and I know where stuff is so over here, I wanted to have like a gift wrapping station. Sorry if I'm going too fast. And so I have my gift wrap over here and then a lot of bags over here. And I have to go through here to see if I have any Christmas ones. But I think they're mainly party and birthday. I also got these bins here, which I thought they were so perfect from Roses. And I can't remember if they were $3.99 or $5.99. I think they were like $3.00, $4.99. And I just had to go back. I got one at first and then I'll end up going back to get another one. Because I was like, oh, I need one now to put my gift bags in. And I know it will fit. So that worked out so well. And this very top bin here, I have like tags and ribbons and so forth. And I just want to have items like this on hand so that I don't have to go out and get them. And, you know, if you might be tight. On money or you don't know you just might not be able to get to the store which that's what usually happens and we don't have time to run out the Dollar Tree or whatever and get any so I want to be I want to have a little bit more than that and then I have like some treat bags over here which I don't have many and then I have like some packing tape and I don't pick these up as often as I should or as I used to but I need to and this is a Halloween and I have that SpongeBob over there 
Then in this very last bin, I have like cards and I want to be able to put my hands on the cards. The ones that I'm making for people, like these came from like Michael's that they usually have marked down like 70% off with the scrapbook paper. And then just have some ones from like Dollar Tree on hand ready to send out. Then over here, I just have a helium kit, and I had this for Josiah's birthday party, so I thought I would just stick it right there. And then here, I just have like some pom-pom tissues and some decor items. This is like for a wedding, and I really didn't have a place to put it, so I used this little over-the-door cabinet thing that I wasn't using in my um, kitchen or cabinet and just stick it there. I got this cube organizer here from Target and some of these cubes are from different places so if you look hard the color is off slightly but um, I got my husband to shove it up here because I, I wanted more space and that was the only way I knew I could get some utilize my space that I had quicker by putting a cube organizer up here because I knew I wasn't getting any shelves anytime soon or he wasn't going to put them up um, anytime soon because he doesn't have time. So over here in this one is packing stuff. So I have like the bubble wrap. So again, I want to have like st um, stations or different setups in my craft room so right now I have all like my melon stuff here which will eventually I'm sure will change so it's like some bubble wrap in here and then I have some extra boxes here and some boxes like from the pill box so from the post office over here and then this one here is empty and then this one here has spray paint spray cans and I thought about keeping them under my cabinet, but I'm afraid that Josiah will get to them. And I do keep some of them in the garage, but I think it's best to just have them up here because I'm the one that use them all the time, but not in the house. And then this one over here, it's a bunch of like Dollar Tree lamps, like when they first came out with them. The white ones, the different color ones, and then the other sunbeam ones. So they were already open and I no longer needed them. And then at the top is like some balloons that are just in more containers that came from roses that came in that set. And then I have like some seasonal ribbon up there, which I need to pull down. And then these two here are empty. So I have lots of room to still grow if I need more space for, which I do, more space to put anything up. On my door over here, I have like a hook from Dollar Tree and I just have like some reforms over here from Dollar Tree and from Carolina Pottery that I've used in the past. And then on the opposite door, I just have a shoe organizer that houses all of our school supplies for the entire house. And I recently redone this for this year for the school year and then this way the boys can find all of their supplies and I always had this on the door so I probably will keep it that way so guys I hope you enjoyed this video my organization to my craft closet and um, I like how it turned out thus far it was a mess in here but I tackled it little bit by little bit and just took my time no rush so thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.